Record. There we go. All right. So welcome to our last session of Train with a Trainer. That's okay, Norma. You're good. You can catch the, the recorded version later. Um, so my name's Kim and I'm the fitness corner at Seneca at York. You guys should know that by now. <laughs> um, and we are going to get started. I'm going to take you guys through a warm up and then Sarah is going to jump in. So we will do a screen switch. Um, Sarah's phone doesn't actually pin the screen or her iPad. Um, so you guys may have to pin your screen for Sarah. Um, so you're not jumping all over the place and we may have to do that for everyone. We're going to try and I'm going to see if I can control it because I'm the host and get everyone pinned to where they need to be. Um, and we are going to get started. What do you guys think? So we have water bottles. We have shoes on our feet. Um, towel nearby. Uh, I do believe Mike's session might be using some weights. So if you have hand weights available, um, keep those aside. He's the little skater, but he's going to join the warm up. Remember to go at your own pace, take breaks as needed. And if you experience faintness, dizziness, pain, or shortness of breath at any time, please stop exercising. If it's just to take a break, take a break, and then jump right back in. This is going to be the danciest portion of this. It's going to be a warm up. We are going to do it to music. We are going to have some fun and I'm going to make you move. And I'm going to laugh at my coworkers who aren't very coordinated with those feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha, ha. Hey. <laughs> All right. So making sure you have some space. Marching it on the spot, lifting those knees. Shoulders back, chin up. I have to close my, close my blinds. Take it out wide. Four, three, two, step tight. Four, three, two, cross behind. Oh, so just step behind, follow it sometimes. Two more. Last one. Knees up. Curl it in behind. Use those arms. Pull. Thank you. 
30, 20, 10. So 50 jumping jacks, 40 high knees, 30 mountain climbers, 20 squats, 10 plank jacks. Plank jacks are where we're in a tall, in a plank, regular plank, coming out and in. Okay. All right. We're going to do about two to three rounds, depending on how far we can get through it with a minute break in between. So let's just get started. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, 50 jumping jacks. Let's go. Squats, here we go. Get low. We need the glutes. That's tall. And more. Use weights if you got them. Last one. Good plank check. Go. Ten plank checks. Here we go. Good. Round one. Two more to go. Here we go, guys. Come back. Three. We got one minute of rest. I'm gonna turn on some music for you. Here we go. Let you. Oh. Playlist. We've got another 30 seconds to go. All right, guys. Starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, get it. Thank you. 
every time actually probably another two sets of this then we're good all right guys starting in 15 seconds here we go Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. let's go Get yourself ready. Last There's time. more. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's kill it. <laughs> Good job. Well done. I'm passing it off to you. <laughs> it's to Mike. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Am I pinning my thing here? How do I do that again? Pin my video? I've got you pinned. Well, Mikey's got the towel out. He's ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I had this issue last time just because of the uh, small space in my camera. Hopefully you can see half my body in this. Um, and I've got some tunes on. Hopefully they're not too loud or inappropriate. Um, okay. All right. Let's get it going here since our heart rates are skyrocketing after that one. Um, I'm, I promise mine will bring it down a little bit. <laughs> so I'm the, I'm the grandpa of the group, just so everyone knows. Here. Um, okay. Can you request uh, music? Can you see Michael Bolton? What's that? Can you see Michael Bolton? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so you will need a weight. Uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, uh, can of soup, uh, water bottle, whatever. Um, one, I think, will actually do. So you don't need a set uh, for what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to grab my heavy-duty eight-pound bad boy here. So just so you know. <laughs> Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, wood chops. So wood chops is basically just a full body rotational movement, um, obviously coming from the lower body, um, producing all the power and then finishing with a core rotation. So basically, again, if you can see me, um, keep your feet uh, no more than hip width apart, so not too wide. And you're going to bring <laughs> your weight down and then you're going to rotate to the opposite side. Yeah, see half my body's Ooh. cut off. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do um, is we're going to go 10 per side. I want you to take an inhale on the way down and exhale when you rotate over your shoulder. So just to show you a couple more here. <clears throat> so weight goes down as you squat, and then as you come up, you rotate. Make sure that you don't have a ceiling fan nearby or dangling <laughs> lights. All right, here we go. So let's go 10 each side. So down and rotate. Don't do the rotation too ballistically. It's not a crazy golf swing. Focus on the lower body. Couple more. 
And boom. Okay, other side. Last two. Okay, set that weight down. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need some floor space. Um, I'm not working with much here, so I'll try to keep them small. <clears throat> so you're going to do a skater stride, um, and you're going to reach. So what it's going to look like. So basically, you're going to go down, touch the floor, and down like that. So it's okay. Um, you don't have to jump like six feet to the side. Just uh, you know, a little bit of a power movement, so a couple feet is fine. Nice and slow when you go down to touch the floor. Um, let's do, well, since Sarah did like 50 or something, is 100 okay? No, okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's do uh, 20, so alternating. Here we go. And go, so touch. Four, that's the tempo. Five, six, stretch out that back leg. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That's a bit of balance here, coordination. One more and done. Perfect. Um, so uh, grab that weight again. Actually, if you do have two, uh, maybe that would work better. Okay, so we're going to stick with our uh, unilateral, so one legged. Uh, we're going to do a single legged back row. So basically, just one foot off the ground, and it's just a, a row. Uh, I lost you. What's that? I can't see you. Yeah, I'm cut off again. <clears throat> okay. So no, no, just up. Just yeah. balance on one foot. You don't have to hold it high or like that, just slightly off the ground. Lean a little bit forward, and we'll go 10, 9, 8, squeeze the shoulder blade, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Somehow I stayed up. <laughs> Just the foot up, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one's harder for me, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Beautiful. Keep one of your weights. Okay, so again, a little bit of balance involved here for our functional movement. So just kind of check out what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do a lunge, press my knee, rotate, and press. So it's down, pivot, twist, 180 degrees, and press. Are you okay with that one? All right, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's do um, let's do ten on this side. So here we go. Down, rotate. That's the one. Pivot. Go the whole time. Never come all the way up. Let that leg burn. There you go. I don't know where we are. Keep it going. Okay. Now, you have to rotate the other way. So, this way. That way. Hey, keep it going. I'm not very coordinated here at all. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It was much easier the other way around. <laughs> ah! Here we go. Oof. Three more. Here we go. Last one. And boom. Okay. <sighs> Water. Take off the legs. Not playing a block 
Another 20 seconds here. I think I've got a couple minutes. Okay. No, we're not doing that all over again. We're almost done here. Um, let's do a squat uh, to oblique crunch. So basically, hands here. Hands at your ears. Wide stance. Oh, good to go. And then elbow to knee. So if it's your right leg, lean the other way. Penny, here we go. Down, touch. Touch. Almost there. Last one. Other side. Here's the best. <laughs> no offense to the rest of them. <laughs> no offense taken. I like this too. Yeah, I oh, Glenna, you're, you're on my hit list now. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sweat's like dripping in my eyes. I can't see. <laughs> okay. What a the story, dancing was it? fun too, Kim. The dancing was fun. <laughs> the dancing was. It wasn't dancing. It was fitness. My goodness. All right. <laughs> So we're going to go through something called the crazy eight workout. So we are going to do four exercises. We're going to work down from 32 and count to eight. I'm sorry, you will be doing some more jumping jacks. Yay. Uh, <laughs> lots of jumping jacks. It's going to be fun. All right, we're going to get that heart rate back up. And then Chris will be right after me. How about that? And I'm going to use music. And I need to keep count of the beat. All right. Starting off nice and easy, marching. Four, three, two, jumping jacks, 32. 16. Eight more. Four, three, two, snap touch. Do it with purpose, so really pull and tap. Eight more. 
Death touch. Take it down, hold the entire count. We're gonna do toe taps, which right to the side, and then finish off with our curls. Okay, you guys ready? Yes, Jim, we're ready. All right. <laughs> Marching, feet moving. Here we go, knees. You can go out wide, or you can stay in narrow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squat jumps. <sighs> Last one. Good job. Toe taps. Sixteen. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, curls. Keep those arms going. Six. 
before we start um i'm gonna switch it up i had some cardio stations in mind but uh, oh gosh you're welcome <laughs> i'm gonna replace those with an upper body uh movement because we haven't done a lot of upper body right now um so you're just gonna need some space uh about probably four feet by four feet um, i'll give you guys 30 seconds grab some water we're gonna do um two upper body exercises two lower body exercises and a core movement and we're gonna do three rounds of that you're gonna have 45 seconds in between each round and you have 10 seconds in between each uh, movement, which means you're just gonna be moving from the first movement to the next. Um, we're gonna do 10 push-ups. We're gonna do 10 Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna do uh, 12 bear crawls. So I'll, I'll break down each movement. And then we're gonna do uh, 12 hip thrusts, okay? So push-ups, you can, you can kind of pick your poison Go with the more advanced one if you can. Uh, if you can get, if you can do that movement. If you can't, you can go regress down. So the uh, the hardest one's going to be a hand release push up. I'm going to pin myself. One second. Okay, so hand release push up. Nice strong position. Arms locked. We're going to come down. Our hands come off the floor. That's one rep. Okay. Regression from there is a regular push-up. Chest touches the floor, back up. 
and then regression from there would be from your knees. Modified push-up, chest touches the ground, back up again. In every one of those push-ups, your arms will walk out at the top, chest touches the ground, and your body's nice and rigid, okay? So pick one of those three, we're gonna do 10 reps. Next exercise is gonna be a Bulgarian split squat. You're gonna need something to prop your foot on. I'm gonna use my couch here. Oh, that one. Left leg is, is bearing the load. I'm gonna come down about a 90 degree angle, press up from my midfoot, fully extended, back down again nice and slow, okay? Keep that knee straight, make sure it doesn't come inward or outward. Right up, we're gonna do 10 reps and then switch legs. If you can't do a Bulgarian split squat, if uh, balance is an issue, what you can do is do a regular squat. Uh, feet shoulder apart, toes on an angle, we're gonna come down. Our butt passes parallel, arms straight up, back up again, okay? I'm gonna be using um, a weight, so if you have a bag, you can throw a bottle, water bottles in there. Um, if you have a, a dumbbell, even better, you can hold the dumbbell in front of your chest like this. Okay, that's the second movement. Third movement is a bear crawl. So we're doing uh, 12 reps of this. We're gonna go four forward, four back, and then four forward again. So from the side, I'm gonna go on my hands and knees. Push out against your abs. We're gonna do four reps forward. One, two, three. Our last station is going to be a hip thrust. First variation is two feet on the floor, heels on the floor. Press your hips up, pause for a second. Back down nice and slow, okay? From there is your foot off the floor. Doing the same movement, push off from your heel, press up, pause, and come back down again. Pick whatever one you want. We're gonna start um, 10 push-ups, 10 split squats, Bulgarian split squats, 12 hair crawls, okay, we're gonna start with the push-ups, pick your variation. Chris, yeah. the Bulgarian split squats, is it five on each leg or ten and ten? Ten and ten. Gotcha. Cool. The five and five sounded much better. Yeah. <laughs> Good position. Body length and straight. Begin down. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Way there. Six. Nice and slow. Seven. Right up. Right down. Eight. Nine, and ten. Good. <sighs> you can go from your knees, or you can do a regular push up without the hand release. Go on, Bulgarian split squat, right foot up, left foot down. Again, one, lower that leg, two, get that back leg off the ground, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. And ten. Good. Switch legs. If you need help with balance, put your arms out. One, two, three, four. Nice and slow and controlled. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go back into our bear crawl position on all fours. Doing 12 reps. Four forward, back, four forward. Next, like one, two, nice and slow. Three, four, good. And back. One, two, one, two, three, and four, good. Make sure that your knees are hovering the floor. Nice and slow, controlled movement. Going to go on our backs. Take whatever variation you want. Over. 12 reps. One. Start nice and high. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Nine, keep going. Ten, two more. Eleven, and drive. Twelve, good. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more. Right up, big pause at the top. 10, 11, and 12, good. Have a drink of water, I'll give you 45 seconds break. Oh. If you're doing two feet for your hip thrust, what you can do is take a break on that next set. 30 seconds, we'll get back into our push-ups. That last set was too easy, try to do the hand release. It was too hard, <laughs> try to do one of the regressions. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. position, elbows lined up, and go. Let's touch the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep that body rigid. Eight, nine, last one. Good. Split squats. Left leg down, right leg up. Load the leg and up. One, two, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nice and tall, nine, last one, ten. Switch feet. Nice and low on these. One, two, three, four, five. Halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Oh. Shake the legs out. We'll get into our bear crawl position. Four up, four down, four up. Three, two, one, and go. Right hand, left foot. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, four, and one. Two, three, four. Good. On our back. Going back to hip thrusts. And again. One. Two, three. Straight up. Four. Squeeze those butt muscles. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, two more, 10, sorry, two more, 11, <laughs> toss the top, and 12, good. Have a drink of water. <sighs> you guys are lucky, I was gonna make you do three sets of that, but. Oh time, no, there's not enough time, there's not enough time. <laughs> the, the time has, has worn down. <sighs> I gave you a five minute buffer, Chris. What's that? There's a five minute buffer. Oh. Kim doesn't like you guys. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do a called a mechanical drop set. So what we're gonna do is five hand release push ups. Then we're gonna do 10 regular push ups. And then we're gonna do 15 push ups from your knees. If you can't, if you can't do, <laughs> regression, if you can't do the higher regression, you could also do. Um, uh, 10 push-ups from your knees, and then 10 push-ups against the wall. So from here, you go against your wall. Elbows lead backwards on a 45 degree angle towards the wall. You press up one, two, you're going to do 10 of those, OK? So you can either do the 10 from your knees, 10 to the wall, or you can do five hand release push-ups, 10 regular push-ups, and then 15 from your knees, OK? You guys ready? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, regular push ups. We're going to do 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From our knees, or you can use the wall. 
We're gonna do 15. Chest touches the ground, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, oh. ten, one, two, three, four, and fifteen. Awesome. Oh. Take those arms up. You couldn't neglect the upper body there, guys. Come on. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. We're gonna, we're gonna stretch a little bit. So if you have a, you have a comfy uh, place on the floor, you're just gonna go into a kneeling position. Like so, I'll go from the side so you guys can see. So almost like you're putting your butt on your on your ankles. What you're gonna do is bring your chest towards the floor and walk your hands out in front of you. I think this is called either child's pose or infant's pose in, in yoga. <laughs> you slowly let your forehead touch the floor and stretch your arms and your upper back. So all the work that we do on the computer all day, we get super tight upper back for tight shoulders. So walk your pinkies out. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale through your mouth. We'll do one more in this position. Try to walk out a bit further. Big belly breath in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Good. Walk your fingers back up. What you're going to do is take your right hand. Put it between this little window here, and you're gonna drop your right shoulder and twist your torso and bring your shoulder to the floor. Okay? We're just gonna reach to the opposite side. So this hand here, you're just reaching through, drop your shoulders, big breath in through your nose, and as you exhale, bring your shoulder even a bit further down. Good. Get that last little bit of a twist through. Come back up, switch hands. So my right hand's planted, left hand goes through the window. Reach through, let your torso and your upper body uh, turn. Really twist it like a pretzel. Drop that shoulder into the ground. If you want, you can even drop your head. Big belly full of air through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good. Come back into the starting position, almost like the bear crawl. We're going to come up. We're going to take our left leg, bring it in front of us. Take your left hand, plant it beside your foot. Your right hand's going to um, turn up. You're going to rotate again. Try to look up at your ceiling, okay? Really push and try to bring your arm as far back as possible. So this is going to be stretching your hips, also your shoulders, upper back. the stretching part now. Switch sides, so right hand, yeah. this one stays where it is. Right hand moves, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So you're gonna turn mm -hmm. up, look over your left shoulder straight up. And if you can, push your bum back too, okay? Hide your bum back a little bit. Bottom drawer. Mm -hmm. And then your right foot up, same position. We're gonna start with our left hand on the ground. Twist, look over our right shoulder. Straight up at the ceiling. Really turn, 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 turn. Good. Switch hands, we're gonna plant our right hand to our right foot. So our, our arms aligned with our, our, our knee. Same thing, use this knee to twist as much as you can. Push that butt back again, okay? So from that angle, you're just sit back a bit. That bum back, open up the hips. Okay. We're going to go back into our position on our hands and our knees. You're going to take your left leg. It's going to be a dynamic stretch, so it's going to involve some movement. Mm -hmm. Left leg comes up, okay? And you're just going to sit in this position here, so my leg's beside my left foot. You're going to lean into the stretch, okay? Really push that knee forward. Come back, do the same thing on the right side. Try to line your hand up or your foot up with your hand. Let your hips drop. Lean to that side of the stretch. Feel that right in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other side as well. Left leg up. Drop your hips a little bit. So if you're up here, try to bring your hips down. And then through this hole right here between your two arms. Okay? 
One more time on the other side. Right foot up. Try to bring it right to your hand. Drop your hips. Through. Good. Awesome. We're going to stand up. Onto your feet. Feet about a uh, shoulder width apart. What we're going to do is take the back. We're going to take our hands, interlock them, put them in the back of our head. Just applying a little bit of pressure. Look straight down at your toes. We're going to hold this. Just a gentle amount of pressure. Tuck our chin in, look straight down. Take a deep breath in. If you can put your hand on your stomach. What we want is our belly to rise and not our chest, okay? So one hand back of our head. We're going to fill our belly full of air. Hold it and exhale. Okay. We're going to switch hands. What we're going to do is put our, our thumb under our chin. Look straight up, applying, applying a little bit of pressure. Tilt your head back. Same thing, you're going to put your left hand on your belly without letting your chest rise. We're going to expand our, our, uh, our stomachs, our rib cages. Big belly full of air through your nose. Hold for a second. And exhale. Good. Let your hands loose. Take them out. We're just going to finish stretching our necks. We're going to take my, my head and tilt it to my right, sh my, uh, right shoulder. Looking over my right shoulder slightly. If you feel any discomfort, stop there obviously, but try to push it so you're looking behind you. Switch sides over the left shoulder. Nice and gentle over our right shoulder. Once more over our left shoulder. And to finish off, we're just gonna do semicircles. We're gonna go from right to left. I'm going to drop my chin, look over your left shoulder, let your eyes roll if you want. <laughs> look over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder, nice and gentle. Look over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder. Good. What I want you to do is take a deep belly breath again, so, so through your nose. This time, let your shoulders rise, and as you exhale, release, let your shoulders down, okay? We're going to do three of these. Big belly full of air. And let your shoulders lower. Again, big belly full of air. Shoulders rise and breathe out. Shoulders lower, one more. Breathe in, shoulders rise and exhale, shoulders lower. Awesome, perfect. Great job guys. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed, uh, hope you enjoyed all of it, obviously. Oh gosh. It was good. It was great. I heard, uh, I heard Mike's delivering uh, beer to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the uh, UPS guy come yet. <laughs> what do you know what? I actually, uh, I'm, in, I'm in Musselman's Lake and it's like, it's so much snowier than when I dropped the kids off this morning at school in Stovall. There's like tons more snow here. So I, I've had to shovel like twice already. <laughs> <laughs>